Hi, and uh, welcome back. So, I've been in a bit of a rut lately, and I think the best way to get out of it is usually to do some studies. So, I decided to do a portrait study, and lo and behold, yesterday one of the projects that I worked on last year was released, and I was watching the trailer, and I thought, now that's an interesting face. <laughs> My day job is a little more gory than what you usually see here on um, YouTube. I work as a special effects makeup tech, and my job's really interesting and fun, and I love it, but I'm always striving to be a better artist, and I think, in my opinion, involves just, like, practicing all the time. I also watched um, The Kingsman recently, and uh, I really liked Sam Jackson's character in that movie. It's like this goofy guy, but actually really sinister underneath, and um, I think he does that transition really well. Like, from being kind of silly to being really creepy. Anyhow, I found a reference image of what I felt was that moment where he's kind of on the verge of those two emotions. And um, that's what I'm drawing today. So what I was doing there while I was laying in the pencil sketch was something that I actually learned in animation school, um, which is like a drawing technique called point to point. And basically you just kind of put little markers, like dots, as a reference points for where you're going to lay in, um, sort of like perimeter features. And it's like, I really like it. It's like a way to like get something down on the paper, but it, it's like, you don't have to start drawing, you kind of map out where you're going to draw. And I do find it very helpful, um, and I think it works. So, I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but basically you're making little anchor points for, like, say, the edge of the ear, or the brim of the hat, or where his eye would be, and it lets you kind of at a quick glance, make those measurements and see the angles of those relationships without committing to like putting lines down, and then you can work from there. And I mean, you're, you should always uh, readjust those things as you go. Of course, once you're into ink, uh, that's it, right? <laughs> but in the drawing process. I used to be involved in this online community where there was a forum where people would submit their like uh, selfies before that was a term and um, you know it was just like the portraits that they had taken of themselves and then in this group you could find a portrait that you liked and draw that person so it was a bunch of artists or hobby artists that would submit portraits of themselves and then everybody could like we we drew each other and it was really fun and i did that like consecutively for about a year and i got pretty good at it but um sadly i never really kept it up i mean I, i've kept a sketchbook up steadily for my entire life, really, ever since I started sketchbooking. I think in high school, probably. And, you know, I do studies in there and stuff, but you kind of have to keep at it. And, um, looking back on those, I'm a little bit bummed that I haven't maintained that skill set and um, you know if you do keep at it you just improve immensely so 
I'm gonna try to make it <laughs> one of my many goals this year to get hopefully one of these portraits done a week and um, I probably won't spend as much time as I did on this one but um, you know just get in the habit because I used to be able to you know do them fairly quickly and it's just a matter of practice so um, I'll probably make a hashtag for it and I'll post them on my Instagram stories if you want to follow along and um, yeah join in I'll mostly use ink I think but I'll eventually get bored of it and change my mediums around so use whatever you want and if you want to join in on this with me that'd be great because I kind of miss that sort of sense of community that you used to have in and forums online. I feel like since like social media has kind of taken over the internet, we don't have as much as that. And um, I know it's just a habit. I mean, there's still forums out there that you can join and are active, but you only have so much time for online, um, like extracurricular. <laughs> and uh, well, I've just gotten out of the habit. If you do know a good uh, art community that is very active online, let me know about it. Um, I mean, other than YouTube. <laughs> Anyhow, um, as you can see, I had sketched in the portrait here with a pencil just to like give myself sort of like reference points to where things should be in general, you know like a bit of an outline so that when I go in with the ink I am not um, completely lost and I don't have to do all those measurements as well. For this portrait I am using I believe it's a Dr. Martin's ink and it's, it's waterproof ink. I, I purchased it because my my ink I had before was acting a little bit funny and it's my first time using it and um, I like it so far. I think I've used it one one other time and it's a nice ink. The only thing is that it is kind of thick and it dries um, and clogs the quill very easily so I feel like I have to keep on top of cleaning it as I'm working otherwise I don't know it builds up really heavily. For my quill my usual one is um, I believe it's a Hunt's quill. I'll have to check what kind of quill type it is and I'll put it in the description below but it's a very flexible very fine quill and I like it because you can get really really fine lines but you can also get a lot thicker lines if you press harder and um, I find it to be very versatile like I have some other quills that are stiffer and you get like thicker lines out of it but I must say this is my favorite also um, it's really light you know the quills light and the little quill holder is also very light. It's just kind of like the first one that I found that I really loved and I never really changed. <laughs> but if you know quill types that you like, um, let me know about them because, uh, you know, I'm a creature of habit and I kind of just like stick to the things that I like. Um, Right now I'm going in with a brush and that is an awesome, awesome inking brush. It is the Windsor Newton Sable, Sable series and I believe it's either a size 1 or a size 0. Um, I take very good care of it and this is probably the second one I've been through. 
I never knew about inking with brushes um, until I met my husband. And uh, my husband is a comic book artist, and he introduced me to inking with brushes, and I was like, whoa, amazing. Because <laughs> you can only get so thick with, uh, with a quill, you know? And you can't get kind of like that expressive quality that the brush can give you. It's a little bit more moody. And what I'm trying to do now is just sort of like accentuate things that like need to go really black. And it's nice to get a bit of that contrast. And it's also nice to get a little bit of texture. Anyhow, this is kind of like a fun, fun little treat moment. <laughs> I'm really, really hesitant during this drawing process because it's been so long since I've done something like this and I don't really remember how to move. It's sort of like what I imagine, I don't know, doing a dance is like, you know, you kind of get a rhythm and then you know where things are supposed to go and you can just like make decisions quicker. Anyhow, right now it's just taking me a really long time to make those decisions because I'm just out of practice. I'm fairly happy with the results of this drawing. I think the resemblance is there, hopefully. I think that you can kind of tell who it is. I, I see all of the miscalculations that I made as far as proportions. Um, if I had gotten that relationship between the nose and the mouth better, then I think the likeness would be much stronger. But I'm not um, too concerned. I mean, it's, it's a study. Uh, and I do like kind of the expressive quality of the results. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing and um, I hope that I've resolved my sound issues. I know I've heard a lot of people uh, tell me that the sound levels were just not up to par and I apologize for that. I have really sensitive hearing and uh, I mean usually I'm listening to videos at like 20% uh, so um, I think I'm not the best um, judge of volume so I am getting this one checked over <laughs> before I put it online. Anyhow, uh, thank you for coming by and spending some time here. Um, if you have any suggestions for other kind of material you'd like to see on this channel, I am so open to suggestions, so please uh, leave me something in the comment section and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot guys. Bye!